check it out you guys you've probably already read in the description what this is uh, so you know this is the PRS custom 24 um, I, full disclosure this thing isn't mine but it is awesome so let's talk about the case real quick I believe it to be made by G&G they're the guys who make uh, nicer cases from, for offenders and they're making GNL cases these days um, this one though seems slightly better than some, some of the fenders and uh, I haven't seen the GNL I do have fender cases but this one seems a little bit more heavy duty than my fender case um, for example uh, the the body's actually routed out or molded whereas on my fender it's just a, a blank slate that'll fit your Telecaster or your Stratocaster so pretty cool pretty high quality all right let's talk about this beautiful guitar this is a 10 top it's qu it's quilted um, which means it's got the quilting effect um, versus like a flamed effect the lacquer looks just super deep. It looks really good, um, but from PRS, I've I've heard that it's actually super thin. It just looks amazing. And like I said, this is the custom 24. So there's 24 frets. You get the extra little owl bird. Um, that's one thing PRS does on their high-end guitars. Is they have all the birds on the fretboard. It's got a five-way switch, which I've detailed on my website at doyoulikegear.com, which I'll have a blog post about this guitar a little bit more in depth about um, a review and demo and how the controls work. But it's it's not the controls you would think it would be for this five-way switch. Um, for example, well, the, the first and the last settings are what you would expect, bridge or bridge and neck uh, and the middle is both but these other two are combinations of like single coils and humbuckers just wanted to show the back of this guitar real quick the neck is definitely like a lacquer um, but it's not sticky feeling or anything it feels very fast I mean this is a high-end guitar and it feels high-end it's really really nice um, this is my buddy's guitar he's had it for about five years it's a 2014 um, but he hasn't really put too much playing time on it and so now he's looking to sell it so when he told me that I jumped at the chance to you know kind of get some time with this and review it it's kind of hard to get your hands on you know a three four thousand dollar guitar to hang out with at your house for a couple weeks. So that's why I help him out. And this guitar does have all of the case candy. Um, oh, one upgrade that was made was um, he swapped out the original cream colored pickup covers with these black ones. He did use PRS original uh, pickup rings but in here you've got everything from hanging tags to whammy bar and these things are only going to increase in value um, I think he told me when he bought it a musician's friend sold them for about thirty three hundred dollars when I look today, there were $4,200, and another difference is that today you pay tax on guitars. So you're really looking at close to $5,000 to buy one of these new. All right, so my friend's going to go ahead and play it for us. So let's see how it sounds.
Hey guys, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing or liking. Um, and also this guitar is available on Reverb. So I do have a link on my website, do you like gear.com? Thanks for watching. See you next time.